Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the reviewing of RCCM company. So in my last video, we have posted the jobs related to RCCM company. Let's jump into our video guys. So as soon as you open your browser, just visit google360.com which is my website. You would be having a lot of jobs here. We have more than 500 plus active jobs. So as soon as the website is loaded, you can see the jobs that we have posted. 40 roles. So regarding this uh, roles, you know, we can completely review the company. And then you need to just search for RCCM Glassdoor. So Glassdoor is my favorite tool. I completely rely on this tool for most of uh, the reviewing part for myself. So as soon as you log in, you know, as soon as the Glassdoor opened the Atrium page, you can see the overall company rating, which is 3.9. Company which is having more than 3.5 rating, you can simply assume it is a good company. And uh, let's differentiate it. So culture and value 4.1, diversity and inclusion 4.1, workload value is 3.1. So these people need to concentrate on work life balance side, senior management 3.6, compensation and benefits 4.0, career opportunities 3.7. So culture, diversity and compensation and benefits are good in this company, but work life management, you know, work life balance and senior management should be somehow, uh, you know, we need to take care of. And also the Isha acquired this company long back, like two to three years ago. So that salaries are pretty well. So 77% of the employees are recommending their friends to join in this company, 90% approves their CEO and 67% the company has a positive business outlook. And then let's dig more here, more pros and cons. So great work culture, approachable seniors, work life balance and good culture, great work environment and support. Good culture, good food and management, good culture, really good company. So as I said, if a company is having more than 3.5 rating, you can see such sort of reviews here. And when it comes to cons, uh, you know, and the negative part of the company, work-life balance can be better, long working hours, but that comes with fintech, and no work-life balance, no recognition for hard work. This looks like this people, uh, this person is a bit disappointed. Fall for all other teams, you either work on really outdated tech stack or work on repetitive projects that won't help you grow as a software engineer. Monotonous work and long working hours or some sort of review, reviews that uh, you know, employees are posted. Let's see another couple of reviews. Great organization to work with. Employee friendly creativity is encouraged and appreciated. It has good employee benefits, poor life balance and heavy ops. Yeah, not going to uh, you know dig deep so we got the summary here then let's click on jobs so jobs are looking as a uh, outdated here but i have uh, went through you know their career website and i have posted the jobs in my website so i have clicked on salaries and when it comes to salary part this company play, uh, pays you more than average guys so more than average in any fintech or it companies so i would strongly recommend you to you know join in this company if you really want more money and then of a software engineer this company pays you 18 lakh for senior software engineer 24 25 lakh simply for analyst 12 lakh 15 thousand for associate 7 lakh 2 thousand and you would be also getting additional pay also for all the roles senior analyst 18 lakhs financial analyst 13.5 technical lead 39 intern my god only for intern only they are paying like crazy 12 lakh 51,000 manager 23 lakh 53,000 so keeping these reviews in the mind you need to negotiate your salary and for engineering lead 42 lakh senior mts 25 member of technical staff 15 lakh uh, 22,000 and for engineering lead additional pay is 8 lakh which is you can simply assume 50 lakh is the total salary so senior member of technical support this is what they are getting uh, 30 lakh and member of technical staff you can assume 19 LPI is what they are getting engineering manager is crazy 67 lakh and uh, you know 53 lakh is what they are getting and 15 lakh is uh, additional pay which would be around uh, 70 lakh is what they are getting and for associate director it is 90 lakh is the salary and uh, you know 80 lakh is their salary and 23 lakh is what they are getting as a bonus 
which means you can simply assume this guy is crossed one year above or well, some salaries so this is how you can uh, you know check the salary part here highest paying job is for director lowest paying job is 665000 is what they are paying and then let's click on interviews part let's see what we are going to get so coming to the difficulty since the company is paying more you need to uh, you know accept this difficulty as well it is a bit more than average difficulty and for campus these people are recruiting 46 percent of staff for online 19 recruitment agency 15 employee referral 9 other three and in person one one percent so 56 percent are positive reviews 31 are negative 13 are neutral so i think the person who did not got the job have, might have posted the negative and then very unprofessional approach of interview she told me in the interview that initially she did not thought interview me but my resume seems interesting that's why she thought of talking to me well, this is some different sort okay general questions about my day work for analyst interview starts with aptitude tests and basic clearance to technical and hr round and intern interview they are paying like 13 lakh for this role so there are three technical rounds and one hr round data structure oops os and dbms that difficulty was medium but it is but it differed from interview to interviewer it was a question oops in java i was asked to implement abstract class with a constructor which also had some parameters software engineer too so simply for intern so just you need to have some skills on dsa either with c plus plus or any programming language and a and a dbms which would be mysql or sql whatever whatever you are convenient with that's it you would be getting a job here and uh, when it comes to the benefits part the rating is 4.4 which is which is uh, you know you can assume companies paying great benefits so work from home no benefits as such longer working hours maternity paternity leave six months for minute maternity one month for paternity 20 days of paid leave for a year and then if you can scroll down a lot of gifts and team outings during one or you know during pandemic era very employee friendly and good care packages and are mindful wlb work life balance sorry benefits free food internet reimbursement personal gym free doctor consultation free medical insurance cons can't trade invest in stock lots of approvals and conditions very generous benefits that are pretty much equal for all the employees so if you want to explore more you can check the pics of this company as well and it's up to you so that was my overall uh, review about this company guys so i strongly recommend employees to join this company if they get a opportunity here then yep just subscribe to my channel guys for more future videos i would be posting uh, you know lot of jobs in my future videos in my upcoming video i would be posting jobs for manual testing role for freshers and then that's it guys i hope you like this information share this video with uh, you know genuine job seekers or the people who wants to know about that system company thank you and have a great day take care bye bye